Basic Dog Treats it for two special guest stars on Cooking with Kay. For my two best friends, Tootie and Spike. First thing we're going to add in is uh, one and a half cups of uh, old fashioned oatmeal. And remember, don't use the instant. One cup of flour. Oh, purpose flour. One teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna add in one teaspoon of uh, chicken bouillon. Dissolve it in half a cup of uh, hot water. Now we're gonna add this in. Now guess what? It's time for one egg. Now let's get real with the meal and stir it up. Now that the mix is stirred, now we're gonna put it on the counter and roll it out with the rolling pin. If it starts sticking to your pin, put a little flour on top. Once we, once we have our dough rolled out, press some cookie cutters into there. We have a dog bone, a dog, and a paw. We're gonna put it on a pan that has been uh, that has cooking spray on it. Whenever you cut out what you can, just roll it back up again. This batch made us 24 treats, but it depends on what type of cookie cutter you use and how thick your dough is. Now we're gonna put these in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350, but it depends on how crunchy you want them. Are you paying attention? Here's a tip. Use an oven mitt, oven mitt when you're using the oven so that you don't get burnt. Two best friends. Tootie here was a birthday present for when I, I turned two, and Spike here was found by my sister Jenna and my brother in law Matt. He was by the road in bad shape, and they patched him up and gave him to me, and he became a part of the family. In the oven, I flipped him over and let him cook for a little t for another ten minutes. Just just for good measures. I love my dog so much that I'm gonna try a piece. And it's all right. Now let's see how they like them. Sit, sit, sit. Up, up, up. 